get ready because things are about to unfold in a way that can only be described as a major motion picture movie. All right, so events are heating up and plot twists have already taken place. And if not, get ready because they're about to happen. But things that you did not expect could have happened and it's completely changing the game. Now, what's coming up for you this was always a part of the script, the movie of your life. It was written, but there are some extra special elements that have been added to the script. Now, you know, in the world of filmmaking, they do that. The director may say, you know what? You know what? That's what I want you to do. And then they completely change the scene or they may shoot a scene and not even put it in the movie. So by the time you get to see how the movie actually unfolds, even though you are the star of the movie, you're still surprised. So things are about to happen that you didn't know they was going to do. You ain't no life was going to be like, oh, okay, we threw this little curveball in there. Oh, surprise, it was an explosion go off in the background. You ain't know we did that. We had some special effects that we added. We got some things coming in and you're going to be completely taken aback all right so make sure you guys visit waterstarvibes.com to grab your deck subscribe to this channel like this video and let's get into these vibes first card up oh the justice card things are about to balance out if you felt like there was any part of your life that was not balanced unfair unjust well those scales are about to even out Plot twist, surprise, life added in a little extra special element that you didn't quite see coming. For some of y'all, you might get some type of compensation or you might win some type of legal affair due to some type of technicality. And some of y'all, I'm even seeing like you get a contract and there was something extra special in the contract that you didn't even realize. Like, oh, snap, I do get one of those. Oh my God, I get a dressing room. Oh my God, I get a, you know, a glam squad, whatever it is. Okay, but there's something more that you're getting because something was unfair at first. But again, this is the way that the script has been written. But let's see what it's crossed by. Oh, the wheel of fortune. Now we had this in another reading. I think it was two readings ago. So whatever it is that's happening, the plot twist is changing your life. Your life is about to unfold in a way that it will never be the same again. Once you do this, the wheel of fortune turns in your favor and it is forever on your side. And this is your justice. For some of y'all, this is long overdue. For some of you guys, this is something that was, for some, some of y'all, this was something that you never asked for, you never saw this coming, you never thought this would be you, you would have never even imagined a thought to ask for this, but there it is. And maybe it is one thing that leads you to another thing. So it's not to say what you ask for and what you pray for won't happen, but it's just that maybe something else unexpected happens first and then it leads you to somewhere else, okay? But it's unfolding in a major way and it will never be the same. Let's see what's in the deep root of it. Oh, the high priestess. Cause you're following your intuition with this one. Let's see what we got that happened in the past. Maybe recent past last month or so. Oh, the two of swords. Well, some stagnant energy, but you know what? I love how this is unfolding. <laughs> Cause look, two of swords, but then we have that wheel of fortune, right? Something was stagnant in the past. And I was saying, I just said like up to 30 days ago. So it could have been 30 days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. Okay. And there could have been some stagnant energy there, but something is moving forward. Now, when we talk about something being stagnant, we're talking about something being gridlocked, which means it's not able to go into that full rotation. So now that we have this wheel of fortune here and in what's happening now position is showing you that there's no longer a gridlock. Now the rotation, the wheel can actually turn. So now things are rolling again. All right. Let's see what's going on in the head space. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Now we got this in the last reading, the very last one that I did. And it's the overall vibe of you moving forward 
to a new phase in your life that is more emotionally fulfilling, where it's about to be bigger than you. Things in your life are about to be larger than life. Look at these roses. I specifically made them huge, way bigger than people. So we're saying the emotional fulfillment is bigger than you. The, the love is, it's bigger than you. So there's enough of it to last the rest of your lifetime. And so for some of you all, you're just now about to get to a phase where you're going to love life like you've never loved it before. And it'll never go back to how it was in terms of how you felt. Okay. Also, this could be a new time of romance for some of you guys. This could be talking about the type of suitors you attract and the type of areas that you are in where these suitors are or the type of outings you may have. Okay. But it's emotionally fulfilling. It feels good. Okay. You can relax. Let's see what we have coming up in the near future. Let's talk about the next seven days right now. Mm. And as I say that, here comes that king of coins. So in this next realm, in this next level, as your life unfolds in this major motion picture way, here comes a co-star. All right. Now, if we're talking about it in terms of you, this is you having money. This is you being resourceful, taking your ideas and expanding them and really capitalizing and monetizing on what you have okay a lot of you guys have a lot of treasure whether it be your ideas your gifts your skills your talents things that you've made things that you've done your accomplishments they're all little gems and jewels in your treasure chest and each and every single one of them is coming back around now during this time of your fortune or the unfolding and they're going to reveal one by one how significant they actually are Okay. For some of y'all, that's going to be lessons as well. Things that you had to go through in the past that you was just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I had to go through that. Then it comes up again and it's like, okay, this is, I, I see why. Cause as the movie unfolds, it's like, if it wasn't for that part of the movie, then the, the plot twist wouldn't have been as big. You know what I mean? Let's see what we have in the fear. Ooh, five of wands. Oh yes, baby. Did you not know that uh, the competition and the, the fight and the arguing, they want to argue, right? So five of wands is what do you fear? Confrontation. Face-to-face, one-on-one, throwing hands, competing. People don't like you. They want to take your spot. They want to see you fail. Oh, you up here shining? Oh, major motion picture? That happened to you? Collective, who is you? Is that what you're afraid of? You're afraid that's what they're going to say? Well, I can tell you right now, everybody ain't going to like you. And that's one thing that you're going to have to get over. Boom, you're over it. See how easy that was? So this five of wands is nothing. The five of wands, this actually, let me tell you what I'm actually getting with this too. It's like vengeance, but not vengeance that you're putting out. Vengeance, people want to get you back for su- succeeding. How dare you move forward? How dare a plot twist make a fool of me? Because I just got done telling everybody how you ain't going to make it. Then life got the nerve to throw a curveball and make me look like a fool? I don't think so. Let me get the sabotage, right? That kind of thing. So, that's something that's going on in the background and it's nothing to fear as much as you've had to give and go through. And the simple fact that cosmic justice is the one who's working all this stuff out. Um, and again, mixed in with the work you put in, ain't like you just some bum land there. And all of a sudden the magical life took over and all of a sudden these things happen. No, you had to put in some work. And so now it's just like you, you owning you're a spot. You're owning. You see how she's in a nutshell? You owning your chair. Okay. You're owning your moment in front of that camera, whatever, whatever it is, whether you're the star of your own home, you're the star of your company, 
you're the star of whatever it is you do. You're the star because your children think you a superhero. Because your cat thinks you a superhero. Wherever you shine in that baby, it's your spot. It's your time. And for most of y'all listening, this is some type of public spotlight. But speaking of that, what do you look like right now? How are you being viewed? Let's see that. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. Some of y'all are still growing. Let's say you do a movie and you're the co-star. So then there's another star. Let's say um, you are, you see this King of Coins. It's like the King of Coins is the one who is the executive, the director, the producer. Okay. And then the Knight of Cups is more like, okay, I'm just rolling in to do my part and I'm going to go ahead and roll on out. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody bigger than you or somebody with a bigger name, a bigger brand, somebody with something bigger than you is saying, yeah, have them roll in. Okay. So somewhere that you're going, it may not even be permanent. It's just that it turns the wheels in your favor. I'm getting A to Z energy. So it's like Knight of Cups. I come rolling in. I do something and it changes my life forever. Right. And this is that thing. You're going in to meet with one special person and they're going to say, you got it. You got the job. Right. And boom. All right. And for some of y'all, this can even be a person like. Hey, come on in. Let me see you for a minute. You know what? Let's get married. Like uh, I think about Michael Jordan when he went to that restaurant and that girl came out. She was the waitress. Next thing you know, she was his wife. She was having his twins. You know what I mean? It's just like, man, talk about the come up of a lifetime. You was going to work, labor, holding up trays. And you meet a rich, rich man like Michael Jordan. And he like, you know what? Put that tray down. Come on with me. (laughs) I mean, some people don't want that, but some people do. And let me tell you, somebody listening, you got that type of magic. Let's see what's the hopes. Oh, the page of wands. So you see how she got that same energy where it's like, I'm going into this room. I'm about to do something. I'm about to show my gift, my skill, my talent. And boom, I already know I'm finna kill it. I already know I'm finna rock it. It's like you're at the beginning of something, but you know what you got. Okay, or this is what I'm telling you. You need to know you got it. You got some, your intuition, the downloads, everything has already been pointing you in the right direction. You already know what to do, right? So you have to, you just have to do it. And the right person is watching, the right person is seeing, and it takes off from there. I'm almost even seeing it as a progression, right? You got page of wands. This is where it starts. Then it graduates to the Knight of Cups. This is where a lot of y'all are right now. And then boom, it graduates to the King of Coins. So something upgrades, right? And as we were talking earlier about something was stagnant, but then the wheel of fortune comes in and it starts to turn it. And when it starts to turn it, it goes from the page to the wand to the king, then boom, you know, major motion picture. Okay. Let's see. So in the next seven days, we got the king of coins coming up, but let's talk about the next 30 days with this energy as it pertains to this king of coins coming up in the next seven days. Oh, the hermit. Shh. Be quiet. You not making no announcements until they putting out the movie trailer. Until you're making the announcement about it. They, they Hey, listen, y'all. It's the rap party. Y'all come on out and see the movie. Right? Uh, I just get, don't tell them you got the job until you get your first check. Hey, y'all, we going to dinner tonight. It's on me. What you mean it's on you? What you, what, what? And then you get to dinner and you make the announcement, right? Okay. So whatever it is, you're going to have to be quiet for a while. For some of y'all, you might not even be able to say anything for the next year. For some of y'all, I'm getting that you're going to be blessed so good. You're going to want to go away. And that's okay. Blessed so good that you know how they win the lottery and they go up there with a screen mask on because they don't want nobody to know. That type of thing. And for some of y'all, I'm even getting, you're going to, you're going to have to act broke. Baby, you're going to have to act broke. You're going to have to act like you ain't got it. Okay. This is going to be some of the best acting of your life. Cause 
the way this cosmic justice is set up, it's kind of like this is almost like a you getting paid back for a few things that were not fair. Like karma's paying you back. Okay, especially when you sold good seeds and people paid you back in evil. It's like, okay, well, life is saying, listen, I'm gonna pay you back now. But you don't necessarily have to go tell everybody. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, though. Clear that all up. Oh, the star card. Well, all right. It makes total sense. So you're not popping out until you're the star. In fact, let me see. Let me say this. Some of y'all not even going to make no announcement. The announcement is going to make itself. Whatever it is, is going to speak for itself. That's why you're not saying anything. And even like, okay, I'm going to just keep giving you this major motion picture energy. When the, when the trailer come out, you didn't, you didn't have to say anything. Some of y'all are going to have a real hard time toning it down, pretending like you ain't got it. It's going to burst at the seams and that's when it's okay for everything to be out. Okay. It's some, some, some stuff going on. Okay. But when it happens, it happens. And when it's out, whole oh baby, it's all the way out. You feel me? So that's what I give you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to waterstarvibes.com and grab your copy of the alternate reality tarot deck. Then make sure you guys follow me on my other social media. Subscribe to this channel. Get in the comment section. Let me know how this video resonated with you. Like this video, share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.